Thank you for joining me. Today we're talking about the CMB Blaze. It's the Blaze in my card, a D2. Uh, kind of a bead blast blade on here. And, and you know what? This is an inexpensive knife. Fidget friendly. And you know, you've got a front flipper option on here if you want to do it that way. Front flipper as opposed to a top flipper. However you want to do that. And you can get these on White Mountain Knives. That's where I got mine. $58.99. So they don't cost a lot of money. And LTK is the discount code. So you can get 10% off. So it'd be in the low 50s. Right now they're not charging tax or shipping. So, okay. Like $52, $53 bucks all in. You know, delivered. And amazing how... A lot of the knives out there now are in the 60 something dollar range and up uh, that, that, you know, four years ago, a lot of the little G10 D2 knives were high 40s, low 50s, but they're, they're creeping up. But this blaze here and CMB, you know, I'll put the links to the other CMB knives that I've reviewed, but also just go White Mountain and uh, type in CMB knives and uh, uh, just follow my link and you can see the other CMB knives this is interesting oh by the way uh, uh, you know for the blaze I mean you can get it in white and green micarta brown micarta natural G10 natural G10 with whatever you know that kind of a blacked out blade so that's a lot of variations so I got that. I got the brown white Carter version. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I like it. It's got black hardware on it, which is and and black liners, which mm, I think I would have preferred maybe stone wash liners and like just stone wash hardware or silver hardware, or whatever, with this. But okay, I mean, it's not a big big deal either way. Interesting blade shape. Oh, let me see if it'll cut anything. Okay. All right. I mean, it's got a reasonably decent uh, sharpness to it from uh, factory. And, yeah, real bead blast looking uh, finish on the blade. Um, interesting. I just noticed this the other day, by the way. You know, it's got this real crown spine on it. So, I mean, taking some extra time to do that. And I like that. It's really smooth. So, you know, piercing, slicing should be good. Design flow is good. I mean, this is intentional, of course. But uh, let me see. Blade to handle length is good can't touch it here uh you got a backspacer that matches so it's you know brown micarta as well and then well it says d2 on the flipper tab uh jimped flipper tab is pretty muted so that's good and then you've got jimping here on this front flipper as well so you can front flip it also you can you got this open choil area so you can get up on it for finer work for cutting that way oh let me grab my thing here because i was gonna check at yeah, 0.13 so about three and a half millimeter blade stock at 13.6 0.53 thickness because you got this contoured micarta scales and so i'm going to take this apart in a bit and uh when I get it apart, we're going to do a little bit of this. Yeah, I'm going to darken down this. I'm going to wipe a little bit of mineral, food grade. Food grade, you can drink it. Don't drink much. <laughs> Don't drink much. Relax. Okay. But um, you can put it on your scales uh, to darken them down as opposed to waiting for God only knows how long before your natural oils kind of do that. So I thought it'd be interesting to see kind of how that will look. I like a pretty uniform 
and this has kind of got that lightened, weathered out look. I like it more like this half of the knife looks rather than this. Okay, so that's just me. Uh, some people like that kind of weathered micarta look. Uh, it definitely drops pretty easy. And by the time the flipper tab hits you in the thumb, it's over the detent ball. And so it's got a decent little drop. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's centered. No blade player lock rock, so I'm not getting any problems with that. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's inexpensive. It's not a real big knife. Uh, let's get frosty out here. There's a PM2, so that's eight and a quarter. This is definitely a smaller knife, lighter knife, and let's put it on the scales so you can get an idea. Frosty's four inches, so, she, you know, that's not very much, but this one is, yeah, 85 grams. That's definitely not much. Let's go across to ounces. Mm, three ounces dead on the head, okay. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want any more detent than it's got. Not when it's a front flipper, you know. Uh, but what I would say is that at least this micarta gives you some grip to hold on to when you're doing that. You know what I'm saying? And then you can give yourself more detent if this is it. If this is the only way with a top flipper, okay, you could do that. But... When you got a front flipper, you, you need a little less detent than normal. But that's good. It works. Uh, if you're any good at the front flipper stuff, eh, I'm not the best at it. As you go, oh, I had, I had my, there you go. You can't do that <laughs> and flip it out. So you got to get out of the way of the blade when you're front flipping. And another thing here I've noticed with when you have a top flipper as well, which is maybe why some of the front flipper knives do not have a top flipper, is because you can't do this. See what I'm saying? You can't flip it open because this is hitting you right there in the finger, and it's not going to flip open. So you got to get back enough for this to have clearance, okay? So you gotta be back here to flip it open. See what I'm saying? And I tend to ride up when I'm doing that. And see where I am? I'm, yeah, I can feel it even though, yeah. So, you, you, yeah, this is why, you know, I, I think you need to pick your poison. I think you need to pick a top or a front and just stay with it. Now, I mean, you can get used to this. Just kind of hang back, okay? Hang back, and you can do that. But you got to remember to do that. Otherwise, if you get intuitive and you, you tend to get way up on these, and let me see if I got another front flipper. I think this is a front flipper. Okay, but this is not a top flipper. So you see how I get, like, way up on here? I tend to get way up. And this is a huge freaking knife. This is the TS-333. And uh, this, this is a big dog. This is a big dog. I don't know that this should have ever been a front flipper. But it is. And she's, uh, she's rocking the party. That's for sure. So, vicious looking. Just so happened. But yeah, I mean, uh, this one's easy to flip. So, I kind of tend to just stick with the front flippers real easy. Uh, you know, nice choil area, yeah. Ergos are good, very neutral on the handle here, so I can get in there, and I can jump up on this. So it's really easy to do that. And light, and this is contoured, so that's good. Pocket clip I ain't writing home about. Uh, I don't think that's anything to brag about. Uh, I think a deeper carry would have been nice. Go, do something like this, you know. That would have been nice, like the Quist uh, variant uh, knife. But, um, yeah, I, I think that would have been nice. So that, that'd be something to think about going forward as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm big on the design either. Uh, and, you know, two screws is nice, but, you know, 
one on top of the, you know, up from the other, and then a nice deep carry like they did here. That would be really my preference overall. And you don't need to do this split clip. You could have just had a single. But, oh well. Okay. I mean, that's, that's just a design choice that they make. But other than that, do is it bothering me? No. This little area comes up. But it comes up right between these two fingers. So, nah, I'm not really feeling it. Uh, so that's not really a hot spot or bothering me in any way, shape, or form. Comes in a box like this. I mean, for a, you know, after discount, like, what, $52, $53. So that's uh, amazing that you get uh, a nice zipper pouch with it. You get a microfiber cloth. Okay, and uh, comes in a little plastic with the silica, all that, but it's a nice zipper pouch, so that protects your knife right there. And I think they did a good job there. Uh, I, there are other knives that I've had I, I like, so I kind of watch them to see what they're doing. And come on, get in there. There you go. To see kind of what they're up to, you know, what kind of, they've done some collaborative things with some other designers. So, you know, when they do that, then they're worth watching because you never know who they're going to be collaborating with. Yeah, I mean, fidget friendly. Fit and finish seems as good as anything in its class, you know. I mean, I'm not, there's no hot spots or anything. They don't have nested liners there. You know, they show and everything, but then that makes it feel a little bit more structural. To me, at least, it does. And, you know, I like this. This is really smooth. This is nice looking. That's all good. Let's see what we got here. Kick it. Uh, oh, yeah. Ooh. You don't want to. You don't want to give up, do you? Yeah, you got some kind of thread locker on there. Okay. But it didn't move, so I'm thinking there's a reason why this pivot didn't spin. And we'll find out here in a minute when we get this all unhooked. Let's get the body screws detached. And is that going to do that? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. This. Okay. Okay. Break that away. And oh, if we're gonna wander around, nothing like looking through a camera. One more. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Pocket clip. Mm, not got me too excited. To tell you the truth, ah, they're the same size. This, this, I don't know, are they? Yeah, they look the same size too. Here's the micarta. Now this is nice. I like this. <laughs> See, I like this more finished look on micarta. I wish the outside would have been like that. Um, but oh well. And then we got a black liner here. Let me see if we're going to... Okay, we'll pull it back from the back, kind of woggle it off. And there's, I mean, of course we got, uh, you know, skeletonized liner here, ceramic detent ball. There's your blade uh, stop. Okay, and then we got ceramic bearings here. And we got ceramic bearings here. Okay. So we're good there now. Let's see if I can see the reason why nothing moved. Uh, well, there's a D-shape right there in that, which means we, yeah, we got a D-shaped pivot, right? You can see there's the D right there. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, so they solved that problem. A little bit of light lube in there, but other than that, nothing, nothing big, big. And there's our backspacer. And there's our uh, scales on the other side. 
So now that we got the scales out here, let's take our opportunity to glop them all up. How about that? And let's see. So, I mean, still going to be a little bit light and dark uh, variance there in the scale. Let's take the front one. I like that better. I like that better. Now, let's uh, try and get this puppy back together. And this comes out, let me, I'm going to square it off. Okay, let's back. Okay, so square it off needs to be like that. And let's get our bearings in here. And juice them up just a little bit. Let's put our blade out. Oh, oh, yeah, and then we need to jump this puppy down on here. Okay, we're good. And where's my other bearing ring? There it is. Okay. Oh. Let's put our blade uh, stop in here. Okay. Stop is in. How about this? Okay, click on here. Okay, and number eight. Okay, let's not get too too rowdy, and let's get our body screws laid in here. Before we put the pocket clip on and let's get these in the party are we good and we're there And pocket clip. We got one screw. Here's the other one. I was laying back in there. And okay. What do you think? I think that's good. I like it. All right, we're all ablaze with the blaze. Now I got now I got some action going on this baby. Wow. That's uh I guess it might have been a bit over tightened when I got it out of the box. But now that uh I adjusted it when when reassembling it. Uh, oh, come on, get out of the way. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, I like the top flipper. I ain't doing the front so well, but the top flipper is working for me. Wow, working great, too. I'm going to leave you to it, my friends. It's the CMB Blaze. Another option in the budget world, uh, it's good to have options, it's good to like knives, it's good to be uh, an enthusiast right now because there's so much going on, but I like the overall design, I definitely like the action on it now, and uh, micarta doesn't hurt either, does it? Neither does the price, by the way. We do love them knives, you guys, stay sharp.